thought I'd take the time today to demonstrate how easy it is to upgrade the uh, PZ15091 slash PZ514s to th from the uh, plastic trunnions up to the uh, metal slash aluminum trunnions. This modification can also be applied to the uh, PZ15090 slash PZ312s as well. First thing off the uh, mounting flange will have to re be removed so you'll have to take these four flathead Phillips screws out and with those removed the flange will come off. It's got two, in two index uh, marks right there on the back of the flange going these back two holes so you might have to tug at it a little bit to get the flange off. Okay so once the flange is, is off uh, what I like to do is go in and make sure that I've removed the grub screws, the uh, three millimeter grub screws from the uh, trunnion pivots. These are the uh, these are the uh, grub screws that lock the strut into the uh, trunnion. I like to take them out because I'm not gonna. I don't want to keep them in that plastic trunnion when I take it out. Okay, now that I've got the, uh, tr the uh, mounting flange off and the grub screws out, it's a matter of taking the case apart. You have six very small screws. I believe they're, uh, I want to say they're one millimeter. Okay, now I have the, uh, have the six screws Excuse me, I'm sorry, there's five screws. I believe I said six. Now that I have the uh, five screws removed, uh, it's a matter of getting the case open to get in there where the trunnion's at. And that's where I cut the uh, hobby knife comes in. I just find a crease in the, in the halves. And this may take a little trial and error to find a spot that you can go into. Once you get in there, just take them and pry it apart, like so. Sometimes a handy a screwdriver will come in handy. Okay, once I've got the case split, then I just lay over on its side and then just take it apart. We'll see how this one comes apart. They come apart differently each time. You don't want to pull on it, you just want to ease it off. I believe the motor's going to stick to that side, so I try to take the, this. Okay. Well, I've got everything come apart on this one. Anyway, I've got the case apart. Um, surveying this, I don't really. Okay. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and take remove the trunnion, and it's just a matter of lifting it out. And now it's out of out of the way. Uh, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move the PCB board so I've got everything on one side. Okay, now that I have the uh, PCB uh, located in the uh, main board main side here with the motor. Uh, I have found over course of time and doing several of these that it's the easiest way to do it so you're not manipulating around all of the the drives is I move the uh, worm drive over to the other side and it makes putting the uh, the trunnion in much easier. There it is. It's in place. Now it's a matter of putting the two pieces back together and screwing together. Now one thing I like to do when I've got these things apart is sometimes from the factory they will uh, put an adequate amount of grease on and other times they come in pretty dry. 
This one, I think, needs some grease, so I'm going to add some grease into the gear drives just as a precaution. That way I'm assured that uh, I won't have any binding up and it doesn't hurt. That way it'll transfer, the grease will transfer to a little grease over here. And what I like to use, uh, it just depends. It's whatever your preference. You can use that white lightweight lithium grease. Uh, what I choose to use is I like this uh, <clears throat> silicone. It's 100% silicone grease uh, that you use on like spark plug boots. I found that these work out exceptionally well for greasing the, uh, the gears. Okay, now that I've got everything greased up and everything in place, uh, you want to make sure that this wire is running in its channel. And it's just a matter of putting the uh, assembly back together again. Again, make sure that that wire's in its channel. That's it. It's back together. Now it's just a matter. Now what I like to do, uh, once I get to this point, I like to check before I go any further. And holding her tight, I like to cycle it through and make sure everything's okay. Okay, she looks good to go, so now it's just a matter of buttoning her up. Okay, I have all five of the screws put in place. Again, I check to make sure my wire's all right. Now it's just a matter of putting the flange back on. Okay, now I have the uh, 514 all buttoned up, the flange is on. At this point, you want to take those grub screws uh, uh, that you took out of the uh, plastic trunnion and install them in your new metal trunnions. Now, run test and make sure everything's working fine. And I would say this 514 is ready for installation.